<laughs> you know, the other guy did that too, didn't go, ooh. <laughs> okay, so now, as I work to the opposite side, I work with my fingers in a downward position. This is often a great challenge uh, with, with a lot of stylists because what, by uh, adopting this technique of working with my fingers in a downward position, I'm completely mimicking what I did on the other side. Because what we always want to do is put it over the back of our fingers, but to be able to do that, we have to move position. So we've changed the dynamics of our haircut, so we're not mirroring what we've done on the other side. And I used to have a terrible trouble with that, because I could never get the balance right until I was shown many, many years ago by uh, an excellent uh, facilitator and said, have you ever thought about putting your fingers in a downward direction, but with them coming in towards you? And uh, that kind of opened up my, my creativity. So, very cool. And what it does, it helps to keep you centered with your haircut, so you're not moving around the head too much. You're bringing the hair to where you need it to be. I believe a key point in this haircut is working with the fringe area. I want to create a fringe on an angle so we go from shorter to longer and almost drop it into what we call like a teardrop on the corner here. Now, I witness this happening a lot. People, you know, spouse will hold the hair down and cut the hair into the shape, which is okay, but what happens when we bring hair in a downward direction? What do we create? Wait. What we find is the best way to create a soft graduation on the edge of the hair is to elevate. And it's a, almost a very misunderstood technique. But what you do when you elevate hair, the, the best way to elevate is to under comb. So you want to get your comb underneath. And what that does is it immediately lifts it off the head. And you're bringing it straight towards you. And I'm over directing. Remember, you see, I'm over directing onto the opposite side. So, the fringe is coming over this way, but will fall back that way. Because the more you over direct, the longer you leave the length. So I'm working it on an angle, and my fingers are now horizontal rather than vertical. So I'm working from this corner, the high corner here, and I'm working across to the other side. So elevate, over direct, fingers on an angle, horizontal graduation. What that starts to do is it pushes the hair over that way, so it drops to the longest point in the corner here. Yep. I really love to share that technical tip because the elevation is really one of the very, very key elements of this type of hair cutting.